Well, we're back now with our panel. Well, this is kind of turning out to be the Alabama edition of <laughs> Face the Nation because the next story we have here is the controversy going on down in Alabama about uh, about gay marriage. Uh, Jan, bring us up to speed. We know a federal judge in Mobile uh, struck down the state's ban on same-sex marriage. Like other judges across the country have done, the federal appeals court based in Atlanta refused to intervene. The Supreme Court uh, refused to intervene and put her ruling on hold. So uh, judges across the state were to begin issuing licenses to same-sex couples on Monday. But then late Sunday night, a week ago today, the Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court, Roy Moore, wrote a letter to the 67 probate judges saying, don't do this. You have to follow the state law, which says marriage is between a man and a woman, and do not listen to this federal judge. So it created a situation in Alabama where you had this patchwork. Some judges started issuing licenses, uh, some refused. There was some clarification toward the end of the week. So now most of the counties, including the populated counties, the big centers like Birmingham, Huntsville, Mobile, Montgomery, they're issuing marriage licenses now about three quarters of the state. Uh, but you have this uh, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court who has said we don't have to follow a federal judge. So it's harkened back to uh, the days with we started this program off, you know, with, with George Wallace defying a court order, standing in the in the schoolhouse door at the University of Alabama. Um, so I think it does show that, you know, demagogues uh, are alive and well in the great state of Alabama. And, and uh, in Dallas County, where I was yesterday, uh, Judge Ballard told me that what he is doing right now, he is issuing the licenses, but he has discontinued uh, performing any marriage ceremony. And that, that is what most be. judges is are, that are doing. That is what most judges are doing. Of course, the Supreme Court uh, is going to resolve this issue. They're hearing arguments. Maybe. <laughs> well, I think that, right, in right. April, with decision in June. Uh, and Justice Thomas, uh, in the court's decision, uh, refusing to get involved on Monday, they had an order refusing to get involved, kind of said the court has signaled that it is not going to allow these bans to stand. But it has created a, a just a it's controversy. to see how they could reverse that. I agree. Coming next I year, agree. having allowed so many states at this point to I start. agree. Alabama is the 37th state. Yeah. Um, I think it would be very difficult. What do you well, think could, about how the court has handled we this? Could, we could hope that they would resolve it, but they haven't up until now. And in fact, I would argue everything that's happening in Alabama is precisely because the Supreme Court has just completely punted on this issue. Go back to 2013, they had two cases sent to them. The straight out one that would have decided this question of states' rights and gay marriage, they said that the people didn't have standing and they refused to rule on the merits. And then they issued this equally confusing case that had to do with the Defense of Marriage Act, the federal law, that just was all over the place in terms of legal arguments. And it's allowed all of these federal courts to make their own decisions about whether or not states have the right to do these bans or not, and, and it has led to mass confusion. So now they're going to hear uh, cases from four states in April, and hopefully we'll make a decision in June. But there's a lot of people watching this thinking they're going to try and split the baby yet again on I don't it. see no how way, they can. No way. They, I, I don't think know. they got what they wanted. I think last year what the Supreme Court wanted to, or two years ago, to be clear about is they didn't want to get out ahead of the country. They wanted some things to happen in the states to kind of figure out where things would wind up. And some things have happened in the states. And so we've now got, as, as you said, 37 states um, where um, a marriage equality has, has moved forward. And so in a way, it's kind of set the stage for the Supreme Court, at least uh, probably a bare majority of the Supreme Court, to not look like they're getting out ahead of the country, to kind of move into this issue in a way that puts them squarely in the center sure. of it. You heard Slow Justice, motion legal ruling over two in, years. In, in a effect, way. I mean, correct. you heard Justice Ginsburg saying, you know, I think the country is ready for marriage equality. So in a way, it, it's, it's, it's uh, not been pretty, and you're right, it has left you know, people like this judge kind of, you know, sitting there with this ruling. And as I understand it, there's also an Alabama Supreme Court action that's going forward at the same time. So it has created confusion. But in terms of what the Supreme Court seemed to want two years ago, I think this is what they wanted. I think they wanted this stage to be set. I find it, it very difficult to imagine that Justice Kennedy, Anthony yeah. Kennedy, he's uh, kind of been the, the key architect of these decisions over the last 15 years, is going to, to, to reverse course now. I mean, he sees that as his legacy. I, th I think he's very ambivalent on this, though which was part of that Windsor decision on DOMA, that he didn't actually want to take a position. And so, I mean, I think it's very possible that you get an, a situation where, for instance, the court maybe rules that this is a state's rights issue, but that other states have to recognize each other's marriages. I think you could get a, a mixed ruling on this.